Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me on the channel today. As always, it's great to come back at you and we're bringing you a brand new video. Big up to all of you guys that are supporting on Patreon. If you want to come over and support, just come over to patreon.com forward slash FYM Productions Media. Now we've got a first on the channel today. Now you might be familiar with this particular vocalist as she did used to be the singer for a UK band Deranged before they did disband. But she's gone out solo now and she goes under the name Henke. Now, the latest release from Henke is called Fading Out. There was a previous one which is called Pedestal. Unfortunately, I did never get to feature that one. So I'm really looking forward to checking out this one today. Kat is an absolute star, probably one of the nicest people out there in the UK industry, to be perfectly honest for you, to you can't even talk but um it's an absolute pleasure to get this featured today so big up to cat for sending me this in advance do really appreciate it if you dig the music do follow her down below i'll make sure it's all dropped down there let's get into it this is henke and this is fading out here we go <laughs> okay slightly different i was expecting different though Definitely a very sexy video. She knows what I like. Surely getting juice from This has got a really cool vibe to it and I do love how it's not metal That chorus really sticks in your head as well. Yes, that's cool. Oh, cat, your voice is just amazing. Jesus Christ. She's really put so much of her own personality into this video as well, I really like that. Thank you. 
was how they came back. I need to know who shot this. All right, guys. So that was Henker with Fading Out. Definitely something different for the channel. Very, very different to what we normally do. But you know what? From the the music that Kat has produced with the band she was in previously, it's really, really cool to see her doing something like this. I can just tell from the way that the video is that... This is completely 100% her vision and what exactly she wants to do. And the one thing that I really love about this is this wouldn't work if Kat didn't have the voice that she does. She's got such a beautiful voice and as much as I always enjoyed when we got heavy vocals from her previously, her, her clean singing style is just a thing of beauty. It really, really is. I really, really enjoyed this song, and I don't even know what to sort of classify it as. Part of me wants to call it alternative dark pop, but then another part of me wants to say, has it got a slight sort of dubstep thing going on? I'm not really sure, because this direction of music isn't something I'm mega familiar with, but I did really, really enjoy this. Of course, it has to be said, the video is absolutely beautiful. Now, she did send me this video very, very far in advance, so I'm not sure if the little logo has been put in at the end of the the, the fully finalised video. But of course, this video was done by my very good friend, Mr. Sean Hodson over at Loki Films. I saw it and I was like, this looks like a Loki video. So I had to message her. I was like, who did the video? And she was like, yeah, it was Sean. And... Of course, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, I absolutely love the lyrics on this. They're really, really, they do sort of make you think. And I did have to get her to send me the lyrics because I wanted to do a little bit of a sort of a dive into it, as I usually do. So the opening line is very interesting. She starts off with, I got an itch to scratch and I don't even miss you. Now, because of the way the rest of the song goes, I don't know whether this is in reference to... It could be a sexual reference. And if she's, if the person's, like, no longer with a person anymore, and you obviously... Everyone has needs. <laughs> but they don't even miss that person. They wouldn't even, like, you know, degrade themselves to go back to that person. That could, that could be what it means. But, on the other hand, it could be in reference to the pressures of social media and you know the fact that a lot of us are you know addicted to being online and all of this sort of stuff so it could perhaps be in reference to that the one thing that makes me think of that as well is in the pre-chorus it says the world is spinning in overdrive we won't come out alive it's coming in it's everywhere it's just too much to bear and i think for a lot of people that's exactly what it is like with social media and you know all these different outlets and i'm not surprised if it is about this that people do struggle with it because as well as like youtube facebook instagram tiktok you name it man there's so many outlets and sometimes it can you can feel like you can't always just keep on top of everything and you're fighting like a never-ending battle and you know you get messages that come in from people as well and it can be a little bit much sometimes and honestly I will hold my hands up to say at times it can it doesn't necessarily get to me but I do feel sometimes like I just want to just just completely switch off but I find it really difficult because I do I do like to try and you know keep on top of things as much as possible that's what I think the song is about essentially and I think, especially when it goes into the chorus, when it says, wake me up when it's all said and done, I think she just wants to 
she wants this whole world that we live in now which seems it's we lived in a messed up world man we live in a very very messed up world and i think she's saying that she was hoping for it to go back to maybe maybe a simpler time and you know there's not going to be all of this like conflict and everything like that that's going on I think that is possibly what the song's about. I'm sure Kat will uh, will let us all know in the comments. If you could do that for us, Kat, if I was completely wrong. Um if you don't want to, that's all good. But if you wanna if you wanna let me know, no, no privately, I'd really, really appreciate that. I've not heard the first song that she's done. I'm gonna have to go back and check it out. I did say to her, Do you want me to check out the first one first? She was like, No. She was like, check check out the new one. She was like, so it's like a complete fresh listen. But I love this. It was produced perfectly. Vocals, absolutely brilliant. And those cleans, man, shit, those really, really get me in. And of course, it let, it goes, I can't do the video without saying, Kat, you looked absolutely amazing in this video. And Sean just did an, an amazing job at bringing, bringing your vision to life. And I love that little clip where it sort of stops and you go into the martial arts part. And um, those that, that don't know, no cat um she, if you're on her socials you'll see she's she's put a hell of a lot of time into training into being able to do this sort of thing so whether it's in reference to you know acting or developing skills as, as a martial artist or you know just all the things that she does she does she does it amazingly she does it absolutely amazingly and i don't want anyone to think that those comments are just in regards to me fucking simping for her Let's face it, Kat is a very, very beautiful woman, but I, I like I like to I like to keep things as, as professional as that as I possibly can. I think the uh, the whole the everything as a whole, the track was beautiful, vocals were beautiful, the whole video was beautiful. I think everyone involved with this has done absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one does. But guys, please do let me know what you thought of this one in the comments. Do be sure to go and watch the original video as well. Drop a comment. On there share it about let's let's help cats music get discovered by more people because it 100 deserves to be it was a thing of beauty but thanks for watching guys i'll see you all in the next one and i'll catch you next time cheers <laughs>